as of last month, it has been five whole years since XXXTentacion was murdered in Florida. And one thing that I have always believed and talked to, to people I know, family, friends, and I wanted to make a video about it not only to commemorate him, but to commemorate another great artist and draw some parallels, is I truly do believe that XXXTentacion was this generation's Kurt Cobain. I want to read you a couple of statistics before I go into this because I'm going to provide some perspectives, some comparisons, some parallels to try to draw so you guys can get the full extent of it because I know that even though X did dabble in a lot of rock and metal stuff that there are a lot of people that don't know much about him. So Spotify is one single platform. It is one streaming platform across the entire landscape. It's not taken into account CD, vinyl, cassette, radio play, Apple Music, Pandora, YouTube, nothing. Right off the bat when you look at X's Spotify, 36.8 million monthly listeners. Spotify only lists the top five most popular songs of each artist. They are all over a billion a couple of which are almost at 2 billion. His videos on YouTube racked up hundreds of millions of views, and I have a unique perspective in this because I am 22 years old, and I grew up in the heat of the mania that was associated with X. His impact was so major that he had numerous albums chart on the Billboard Top 200 posthumously. Multiple of his singles, multiple of his albums, and pretty much his entire discography that had been released during his life trended after he died, with some of his songs getting even more attention after he died than when he was alive from the sheer amount of support for him after the fact. So now that I've sort of set the foundation for how massive the numbers are when it comes to X. I want to get into the reason that I truly do believe he is the Kurt Cobain of this generation and try to explain it to people that are not familiar with him so that if you see people talk about him in a certain way from my generation, it can make a little bit more sense. Struggled with a lot of issues when it came to allegations and crime. Struggled with drugs. He struggled with alcohol. He literally had a very similar relationship that Kurt Cobain had with Courtney Love where there was a lot of allegations of drug use and domestic violence, manipulation, coercion, tons of things in that realm. He started in a grassroots way on the SoundCloud platform, and for those of you that aren't familiar, SoundCloud rap really peaked in the 2010s with a lot of low-fidelity artists being able to post their music pretty much completely independently, and among other artists, I think X, by far hands down, was the most massive, just in every single way, with all of these low fidelity emo hip hop recordings with alternative and indie influence, sometimes rock and metal influence on his later stuff. And obviously his whole approach and his whole appearance was very disheveled, very unkept. It was a lot like Kurt Cobain in how he just didn't really care much about the fame. He did not care about what he was garnering. While so many other artists that are taken from us too soon bathe and revel in the fame and really enjoy it, X was always extremely introverted. The friends of him after he died and the people that um, knew him very well, one of which being Billie Eilish, who has spoken a ton about him after his death, they literally always talked about how he was the one that was dark. He was isolated. He was introverted. He was not a people person. And he struggled a lot with anger issues, with his own mental health, with his own mental state. And to boot, he literally died when he was 20 years Years old and he had this level of impact and that kind of brings me on to my next point you could not quantify the seismic impact that X's death had on people that were between the ages of about 13 and 30 ish there were people literally breaking down in tears there were friends that I knew that were fucked up as if they literally lost a friend or a family member there were people that had attributed their lives being saved by X or given some sort of platform one of my best friends Matthias growing up was obsessed with X and when he fucking died he was messed up. Like, he genuinely was messed up. He couldn't even listen to his music. He was so upset about it. And there was something very haunting about it because listening to a dead person's music in that way is just insane. And obviously, the way that they died 
it's kind of, you can't really compare it much. Another thing is X was influenced by grunge. That actually was a big influence on his music. He took a lot of influence from emo, specifically second and third wave emo and grunge, alternative music from the 90s and the 2000s. The very brooding and moody instrumentals is kind of what he called home. It was his calling card. And songs like Moonlight, songs like Sad, or actually scratch that, Jocelyn Flores, that song, Jocelyn Flores and that intro is one of the most recognizable intros of any song for this generation. If you play that to someone, they will know what that comes from unless they are literally just so detached from like popular music and popular culture. But that was the interesting thing. Much like Nirvana was, X was not mainstream. His sound, if you even compared him to other artists in his own niche, people like Lil Uzi Vert, people like, I don't even know, Lil Xan, these artists that were blowing up because of SoundCloud rap, X sounded nothing like them. He definitely had his own style with the emo and the grunge and the alternative influence. It was very rock infused, especially if you listen to how many tracks had uh, guitar and like acoustics and samples and things of that nature. And I think that's why he was so influential and beloved is because you could not get what you got from X from pretty much any other artist. And I remember in my mid-teens to late teens, I loved X. Like, I genuinely connected a lot with X, and I think that's another big thing that I want to get into. There was such a cult of personality around Kurt Cobain. Nirvana was not intended to blow up in the way that they did. Kurt Cobain did not plan for anything to blow up in the way it did. And the people that swooned, or not even just swooned, obsessed over Kurt Cobain, it felt like he was the voice of their generation embodying the emotions and embodying the unrest and embodying the feelings of so many people that were growing up in that generation and providing a platform for people that felt like they related to his music. And in pretty much every single way that I can compare it, X was the exact same way. When you heard people that weren't just casual fans of X, when you're talking to someone that was like a diehard or really knew his discography front to back and enjoyed his music front and center, they really always acted like he related to them and talked to them in a way that very few artists did. Everyone has songs they relate to, everyone has albums and artists that they feel like they connect with, but that cult of personality where everyone feels so connected to an artist that their absence completely shakes the very foundation of not only the genre that they are in, but people all across the music landscape, that is fucking rare. Those are the type of artists that are once in a lifetime, maybe two two, three, four times maximum. You don't see that very often. And it, it's like artists like Chester Bennington, I would put there as well as just artists that completely rip a part of the heart of music out of the chest. People loved X that did not even like hip hop music. I knew metalheads that loved X. I knew extreme metalheads that liked X. I knew pop fans, K-pop fans, folk fans, country fans, rock fans, ambient fans, whatever you want to say. The amount of people that loved his music, I, I can't even measure or begin to measure. And people get fucking protective over the memory of X. And it's also that tortured soul martyr syndrome of X had a lot of shitty things he did in his life just like Kurt did. X was not a quote-unquote great person to a lot of people because he did do some really messed up things in his youth up until his death. He was 20 years old and it really makes me wonder what could have been, what could have happened if he would have lived past the point that he did. What are your thoughts of X, and did he mean anything to you, or were you just not interested in him? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear it. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morrison. I'm signing off saying farewell.